And what we're going to do is using the board, we're going to drag the objects around and put them in order from the lightest to heaviest. Your first job with your partner is to have a go at reading those scales. See if you can tell each other what the, the, the objects weigh, what is their mass. Okay, off you go with your partner. My name's Rachel Southgate and I'm a Year 1 class teacher. Rising Stars Mathematics is a complete programme for teachers to deliver mathematics to um, children in their class. And there's a teacher's guide, a textbooks for people, textbooks, practice books and assessment materials. So everything is there for a, a teacher to deliver everything from the national curriculum. and girls can you see on here a little the mark in the middle yeah. it tells us whether it's grams or kilograms can you see what the, the mass is yes yeah. yeah. okay it's seven it's kilograms william thank you so all these scales are measuring these objects in kilograms today we've been covering measurement which is unit eight and we began by looking at length and that's been followed by mass which uh, involves problem solving and will lead on to the assessment tasks. The objective of the lesson was to solve problems involving maths. So by the end of the lesson, I was hoping that they, the children would be able to apply all the skills they've developed and learned over the past couple of weeks and to be able to solve the problems using all those skills. So language like heavier and lighter, being able to order um, and to be able to use some of the other skills from other um, lessons, addition skills in particular and number bonds and to be able to apply that all together in solving a problem. Shall we quickly tell each other the mass of all these objects? <gasps> Who would like to tell me the mass of the parcel? What's the parcel? Um, <gasps> Sonny? Uh, the biggest <coughs> is number two. Okay, do you, you mean that the largest mass on here is two kilograms? Do we agree it's with Sonny? Do you think Harush? No. no. It's F. You think it's F? And what is F? Um, six what's kilograms. The six kilograms. Can anybody spot anything that's heavier than six kilograms? Or is six kilogram the heaviest? What do you think, James? Rising Stars Mathematics definitely saves me time planning lessons. Um, the teacher's guide clearly lays out and develops concepts over, over a series of steps. So I know that I'm developing the concept and I'm not leaving any gaps. Um, the activities are either there in the pupil textbook or there, there, there are plenty of suggestions so you're not searching through the internet looking for additional ideas or um, searching through other books. Everything's there for you. It's excellent in terms of it doesn't prescribe what you should do day by day in a certain number of days so it gives you a suggested time scale of how long it, it, a unit might take but then you're free to use the resources how um, it, it is best fits your class really. Our question was the cat has eaten the fish what is the mass now? I want you to tell me what you talked about. A how do you know what it's going to be? Um, Laurie? Um, it's going to be five. Okay, why do you think it's going to be five then? Because um, I looked at the numbers and it ended up on five. Okay, because so if the, the cat is five and the fish is, is three, oh, I know. The, the fish has gone into the cat's tummy, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. And oh, maybe it's bigger. So oh, will oh, the cat still be five? Because I'm not a math specialist, the scheme definitely provides additional support. It helps deliver more successful lessons, yes, and a, a sequence of lessons as well. I think that's also key that each lesson is building upon previous learning. You're not missing out on gaps, which could potentially happen. Every unit has guidance on how to support or extend the more able. 
and there's a, a quite comprehensive section at the front of the teacher's guide which goes through lots of strategies for developing reasoning and problem solving and enabling the children to master at greater depth for the more able and also how to support the children who might find it more challenging. I will sometimes use the practice books when the children come in in the morning as a morning task to check that their understanding from the previous day before the maths lesson and sometimes as a follow-up activity again to, to check the children's understanding later in the day um, and it allows me to see the children who have begun to master the concept um, and those who haven't and need additional support. The more able were working independently to solve problems that involve them using reasoning and proving or disproving statements um, using a problem solving strategy called always, sometimes, never, which is suggested at the front of the teaching guides. William will do this one together. In independent tasks, um, one group work with a teaching assistant just to guide them through their learning. Another group were working on the same objective but at their level so they were using gram weights and counting up to 20 um, and when it came to recording the, the weights rather than recording in a table they were writing on parcels. Another group were working with balance scales to weigh parcels that were distinctly different in mass so they could clearly feel the difference between a lighter parcel and a heavier parcel. It was slightly easier for them to feel the difference between the, the, the mass and therefore measure the difference in mass and all the order the difference in mass. Pasta. One kilogram. Pasta. Pasta. One kilogram. Pasta. You all agree? Yeah. Right, so. If we're going to order them, how are you going to order them, Arush? Put your pencil down. Can you have a go? I tend to use the homework sheets at the end of units for the parents and children to consolidate their understanding, for parents to see how much the children have learned, how much progress they've made. So which is the lightest then? Right. Okay. And which is the heaviest? A carrots. Okay, so we can do that, can't we? Rising Stars Mathematics has changed the way I teach mathematics. I think it's a more effective way of teaching and I think the children benefit from it because they are gradually building their understanding of the concept and therefore they're better able to master the concept by the end. Before Rising Stars Mathematics, the children weren't able to retain some of the concepts over a period of weeks, so when it came to, say, another assessment activity, um, they weren't quite as strong and they couldn't recall some of the key concepts and they weren't as successful in their assessment activities, whereas now um, I can see in other areas of the curriculum they're able to apply what they've learned and um, when it comes to assessments at the end of a term that they've still retained the concept and they can answer questions in tests um, and complete little assessment tasks successfully. I definitely recommend Rising Stars Mathematics to other teachers. It provides a complete package to deliver mathematics successfully to children from the teacher's guide to the textbooks to the practice books it supports planning, but it's flexible enough to tailor to your, the needs of your own, your own class.